Hello friends, May Flom here for Brother Crafts. Today we are making an easy mixed media monogram. To start off with, if you want a base layer of paint on your wood or chipboard monogram, go ahead and paint it, then set it aside and let it dry. I will be working with the Scan and Cut SDX 230DI. However, any of the Scan and Cut models can be used to make a similar project. Now I'm going to be starting with a hexagon and there are lots of shapes available. So depending on the theme, I know I want a letter B and I want it to be B themed. Depending on your theme, you can pick a shape that you like. And the idea here is we're going to be making it approximately one inch high. And we are going to be using this as a base. We're going to be using this to put in a bunch of background shapes that we can build upon. You'll need to put your vinyl onto your mat, low tack or standard. And then once you have loaded your mat, you're going to select cut and make sure to select half cut. To do this, you select cut and then go in where the little tool is and ensure that half cut is on. This will make it cut the vinyl, but not the backing material. Once the material has cut, and just a tip, you can always cut more if you need to add more. Take your pick tool and weed, in other words, remove all of the excess vinyl, leaving you just with your hexagons. Then use transfer material and make a design. Now there's no wrong way to do this and depending on what shape you pick, you may want to do things differently. I am going to kind of line these up and I'm not going to fill the entire thing. I am going to do some of the black and then some of the yellow background showing through. You can reuse the transfer tape as many times as you like. You can also peel off the stickers. It just tends to be a more secure attachment if you are using the transfer tape material. I will also note that some of these will go off the edges. That is totally fine. We will trim and sand those down at the end after everything is set. As you can see here, I've worked my way down and I'm continuing to utilize these shapes. Remember, there is no right or wrong here. And also at this stage, you can peel off a shape if you change your mind about where one of the shapes is. Once you have completed, you will take some sealant or clear drying liquid adhesive, put a thin layer over the top. This will make sure that everything really locks in place and stays beautifully for years to come. Then take some acrylic paint in a different color. I'm using a cream and swipe across the entire letter. This is going to be a layer that adds a little more depth and a little more texture. Once it is complete, we're going to then blot some of it away. So as you can see here, everything is completely covered. I'm taking a textured paper towel and pressing all over, and then I will lift and I will repeat, repeat this a few times until enough of that cream colored paint has lifted that I like the end result, as you can see here. Your next step is let this dry completely. Then you're going to want to trim away or sand away the edges of any vinyl shapes that are falling over the edge. Once you have done all of that, you can see we've got our letter here. Now I'm looking at measuring. So I'm looking at, okay, three to four inches is good for the B. One to two inches is good for any other embellishments. And I'm just looking over that everything is in good shape. If there's anything else that needs to be adjusted or changed, now would be the time. I am going to take some alcohol markers. It is very, very flexible here. You could use more paint, you could use other materials. I would just like to show you an alcohol marker here. And we're going to apply multiple colors, just kind of get a dark look along the edges. Again, this could be other markers, permanent markers. This could be paint, it's up to you, but I want to cover over the edge and any imperfections or any splotches of yellow paint. With that done, I've set it aside and we're going back into our scan and cut. And this time we are after the B. So I am going to select the B design and you just go down through the animals. Remember to check out your scan and cuts designs. There are so many built in designs that are perfect for so many projects. And in this case, I want approximately three and a half inches 
high, this will size all of the pieces to go together. Then one at a time, I'm going to select different pieces. And as you can see, the machine is showing us, here's the piece you've selected, and you can see what that piece is going to be. You wanna keep this in mind as you're selecting shapes so that you can place them on the mat, but also keep in mind what materials are you cutting and where would you be putting those. Okay, so I'm just adding additional pieces here, the little body pieces and so forth, and I'm moving them around depending on where I think I want them to be versus the pieces of material that I will be using. And I can see, okay, now we need the headpiece, and you can, again, look at the full thing and see that the headpiece is kind of intended to match the body stripe, so I'm gonna go ahead and have that be. Then I'm going to take my materials. In this case, I'm going to use thick card stocks and I'm going to place the pieces on the mat, then load the mat and scan the mat. So if we go back here, we can see there is an option in the machine that we can scan the mat. And what that will do, that button right there in the middle that I pressed, it's just going to take a picture of the mat so that we can see where our materials are and make sure that we have placed our pieces in a good spot. Now, once this is all scanned through, it will pop up and we can verify if we've done a good job or if anything needs moving. This makes it really easy to utilize small pieces of materials and get the most out of your scraps. Now we are going to cut and we are going to select half cut off because we want the material to cut all the way through and let that cut on out. Then we are going to select the next part, which is the wings. Now I'm actually going to cut the wings out of two different materials because I wasn't really sure which material I was going to prefer. Remember, you can always do this if you want to. You can always cut two different samples or three or four of a material and see which material you like best for your project given how it will look all together. The final piece here, I have a piece of faux leather and I'm going to be cutting out hearts. So any shape you want, size, however many you want, scan the mat in. As you can see, there's a lot of ways that we can use our scan and cut with different materials, with different mediums to get some really incredible and custom results. Now, once we have this all together, the process is always the same. Go all the way through to select cut. If you wanted half cut, which we do not, you would turn that on and then you press start so that we will start cutting out all of these great little hearts that we'll use. Some of them, we might not use all of them, to decorate. Now, once these are cut, we are set to finalize this project and assemble. What you can see here, I am putting the little B together and... I'm just kind of taking a look at him off to the side. Do I want the gold wings, which I did out of the faux leather, or the clear wings in acetate? I wasn't sure. I, I am going to go with the clear, but I sometimes like to be able to see what is it going to look like. Originally, I kind of thought about doing two different materials, but I really like how this is turning out, and I like the wings underneath for this particular project. I'm also looking at those hearts, where might I want those hearts, and adhering all of the pieces of the B together. Now our B is going to go down towards the bottom of the letter B, and it's really going to fill that space where I intentionally left not very many hexagons, not very much going on for that B to stand out. We could add at this time other embellishments as well. If you wanted to add additional paint detailing, if you wanted to add glitter glue, buttons, sequins, whatever else you might have in your craft stash, this would be the time to do it. Your scan and cut made all of the hard parts, all of the shapes and the fussy cutting did it all for me. So I really get to just sit back, relax, and enjoy the creative process, which I do so very much. Thank you so much for tuning into this tutorial. I hope you have enjoyed it. Be sure to tag brother and follow along for many more tutorials to come. We are always loving sharing inspiration with you and seeing what you dream up. Have a great day.